People contact me every day who are relocating, ready to retire, looking for a vacation home or short-term rental, and I love it. I love sharing my love of Galveston Bay with you. Do you want to learn what it's like to live, work, and play on Galveston Bay? Well, boy, are you in the right place. Everyone, but everyone is talking about short-term rentals lately. It's projected that the vacation rental industry will reach well over $13 million in rental revenue in the U.S. in 2022. Coronavirus pandemic has only accelerated the industry's demand. Many people perceived short-term rentals as a safer travel option than hotels. A wider market of people are trying short-term rentals and they're really liking them. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a free guide to short-term rentals and my free short-term rental calculator. Vacation rentals can be highly lucrative. Not only does a vacation rental provide a great spot for you and your family to travel, but it's also a wonderful opportunity to diversify your investment portfolio and build wealth over time. Maybe you're looking into purchasing your first rental or toying with the idea of investing in even more locations to add to your portfolio. Regardless, before diving into this quickly growing market, you'd really benefit from exploring some of the nuances before you commit to investing. Finding the perfect vacation rental property for your need, choosing a lender and understanding the distinctions of short-term rental specialty financing, and lastly, managing and maintaining your vacation rental. We've seen since the pandemic, the vacation rental industry is undoubtedly flourishing in record numbers. So let's evaluate this strategy from different angles. Now this is going to be a business, so please do consider consulting your CPA and other financial advisors regarding tax benefits, local hotels permits, local tax and allowable business expenses. It's really no wonder vacation rental properties are all the buzz. Owners can use the property for a limited number of days each year without losing their tax benefit. Whether you plan on managing your vacation rental property yourself or hiring a management company, you're gonna need someone to market, handle the transactions, get your new guests checked in and out, clean and maintain the unit, permit and payment of hotel taxes and the like. Now, this is when a good property management company could be a game changer. Please like and subscribe and click the little bell and you'll be notified each week of my new videos on what it's like to live, work, and play on Galveston Bay. I love Galveston Bay, but did you know that over 4 million tourists visit Galveston annually? Galveston isn't only a great fishing destination, but a charming beach town. Galveston is also a fantastic cruise destination with currently two cruise ships sailing out of the deep port of Galveston. There's also construction to accommodate two more ships we'll call Galveston home. Cruisers often stay one to three days before or after their cruise. With the pandemic, many people really do feel more comfortable in a short-term rental. The pandemic has changed the way we live, work, and play. So it's no doubt tourists in Galveston go hand in hand. But did you know there are a handful of full-time residents on the island that don't want short-term rentals? There are communities that don't allow short-term rentals, but there are many that do. There are ordinances in Galveston zoning some residential communities. R0, short-term rentals are not allowed. And R1, short-term rentals are allowed. Do you have a question, comment, or maybe a topic you want me to cover? Just comment here. I would love to hear from you. When you're researching a property best for your intended use, please utilize a local realtor who can help you navigate in negotiations, inspections, history of properties, specialty financing, insurance, management company referrals, and ordinance information. Your local realtor will make your Galveston Bay short-term rental purchase a smooth one. Since the early construction of the seawall after the great storm of 1900, people have flocked to the Gulf for relaxation and the beach. Condos fronting the seawall are very popular with tourists. Not only do they offer great views, Many are walkable for dining and entertainment. 
first, I've listed just a few of my favorite condo properties that do allow short-term rentals currently. The Victorian 6300 Seawall. The Victorian condominium community is one of Galveston's most popular short-term rental communities, consisting of one and two bedroom units in nine buildings with two pools and courtyards. They offer a full-time receptionist and the property is gated. There is ample covered parking for your guests. The Victorian is economically priced for families. I love this property purely for the convenience factor. Many of the units either have a view of the pool areas or views of the beach. Access to the beach is just a short walk across the seawall. There are two pools, one mostly adult and another with a large mushroom fountain that the little ones sure do enjoy. This property is about 98% short-term rentals. The Victorian does have a couple of long-term rentals and a couple of owner-occupied units, but for the most part, this is a bustling short-term rental community. The Dawn Condominiums at 2001 Seawall Boulevard. The Dawn Condominiums is a beautiful, brightly-hued property. It's 175 units on the seawall and has beautiful views of the Gulf of Mexico, consisting of one and two bedroom units and some offer law. The Don is one of the largest condominium complexes on Galveston Island. The Don also boasts many amenities to enhance an already beautifully maintained property. They have two gorgeous swimming pools, a hot tub, a fitness center and clubhouse that's available for smaller intimate events. Diamond Beach. 10327 FM 3005. This is a beautiful luxury high rise condominium property with remarkable views of the Gulf Coast. The Diamond Beach features a three tiered, 300 foot cascading infinity outdoor pool. It also has a 750 foot outdoor lazy river. The kiddos love the outdoor water slide. Now these hours may vary by season. They also have two outdoor hot tubs, an outdoor shower, which is great after a day at the beach, an outdoor swim up bar that's open during peak season. Are you looking for luxury, beautiful views, a swim up bar? You and your short term renters will love this property. The Diamond has a vigorous short-term rental website. I cannot stress enough that these views are beach side of the Gulf and they are awesome. The Diamond is located at the end of the seawall, so access to dining and entertainment is just minutes away. If you have the opportunity, this is certainly one of my favorite high-rise condominium buildings. Ocean Grove 9420 Seawall. Ocean Grove is an 11-story, 54-unit luxurious condominium property on the seawall overlooking the Gulf. Bejeweled in lime tropical hues, this luxurious property will not disappoint. You must see to believe these breathtaking views from the water 11 stories up. It's beautifully maintained and it offers a 100-foot, three-lane swimming pool as well as a small wading pool. This is a luxurious property and busy short-term rental opportunity. Seascape Resort Condos 10811 Termini and Louis. The Seascape condos are thought to be one of the best beachside rental condos on the West End. The Seascape is located on the beautiful shores of West Beach. This tropically tinted beachside property features one and two bedroom condos with six different floor plans, some with large corner balconies. The amenities include private access to the beach with landscape dunes, a heated swimming pool, two hot tubs, one designated for adults only, a children's pool, a gazebo, a beach observation deck, beachside barbecue and picnic area, and private patron parking. Seascape is conveniently located just minutes from dining and entertainment on the seawall and the historic train. Point West. Point West is a master plan community that opened in the summer of 2006 and has become one of the far west ends favorite places to unwind. This well thought out property offers so many great amenities for residents and guests of all ages. They offer an infinity pool, a large hot tub, a kiddie pool, a lazy river pool, a fitness center, locker room, bar, restaurant, gift shop, and game room. They also have gas grills and cabanas that are available to rent on the beachfront. You'll want to see the Point West Sunset Pool with Lazy River, a shallow area for the little ones, 
hot tub, fire pit, and more grills are located on the bay side of this beautiful community. Point West has something for everyone and offers private vacation, rental homes, cottages, and condos. Point West is a beautiful 1,000-acre community located on the very last three miles of the far west end of the island, literally right before the San Luis Pass toll bridge. You will enjoy the serenity of three miles of private and very well-maintained beaches. This amazing property with all of its community amenities offers easy access to the beach via wooden bridges built over sand dunes. A great place to vacation or just get away. I can't stress enough that this property is a good drive to entertainment and dining on the seawall or historic strand. Sea Isle offers the West End restaurants, bar, and marina, and there are a few other options dotted along 3005 as you head back to the seawall. But if you're looking for a quiet, chill beach day or fishing weekend, or maybe just secluded beach time with family and friends, Point West is certainly a great option and offers so many price points to fit just about everyone's budget. There are several beachside communities that do allow short-term rentals. A few on the West End are Pirate's Beach, Pirate's Beach West, Jamaica Beach, Spanish Grant. These beachside communities offer convenient access to the beach. Whether you're using your property to maximize its potential through short-term rentals, fishing, or making memories on the West End with family and friends, convenience is a factor. Access to dining and entertainment on the seawall and strand is literally minutes away. Sands of Kahala and Kahala Estate. These beachside estate properties are spacious, offering up to 14 plus guests. These beautiful estate properties boast luxury with beautiful views of the Gulf and secluded beaches. Prices vary and are on the high side, but these beachside homes with amazing Gulf of Mexico views, in my opinion, aren't worth every cent. If you're looking for a short-term rental, whether it's a condo, a single-family property, whatever you're looking for, reach out to me, text, email, or call. Let me help you find the best short-term rental property for your specific need. Click here to download my free short-term rental calculator so you can run the numbers on prospective properties yourself. I can assist you with referrals for specialized condo financing for short-term rentals or single-family investment properties. I can refer inspection companies, management companies, and insurance companies. Let me help you navigate as you build your short-term rental portfolio. I hope you've enjoyed my short-term rental video and that you'll watch my other videos on what it's like to live, work, and play on Galveston Day. Are you ready to learn to live like you're on vacation every day? Now, I know you like the video because you're still here. I want to give you my free, complete guide to short-term rental. Just click on the link below and you'll be directed to my site. There, you can download my free, complete guide to short-term rental. You can also download my free short-term rental calculator there too. Thanks so much for watching.